And I would like to hear from President-elect Trump about his foreign policy vision. I would like to hear about what he feels about the images coming out of Aleppo. I understand what we saw happening in Wisconsin yesterday, and it's more than entertainment. And we can talk about the politics of that. I think it might be um, a fascinating strategy on his part. Right. But we are witnessing a holiday. It At is. what point are we going to hear from people who are leading this country from here it on out? It is no longer good enough. And it's, it, it may be too late now to do anything, but it's no longer good enough for United States presidents or president-elects to say this is not our problem. History will judge George W. Bush um, um, harshly for the decisions he made going into the Iraq war. History will judge Barack Obama equally as harshly for allowing this Holocaust to move forward. And by the way, despite what you hear on cable news chatter and read on the blogs, history will also show that Iraq by 2010 was stable. And it was the immediate withdrawal of those troops that many Americans supported, I understand. But it was that immediate withdrawal of those troops that created a chaotic situation that allowed this to start unfurling, along with the United States funding the rebels and silently encouraging the rebels to rebel against the side. And so when they did, we drew a red line. Barack Obama allowed Assad to use weapons of mass destruction, and then he did nothing. He cowered in the corner. Is that while what's going to continue, though? While a Holocaust nothing? has continued. And so, on January the 20th, 2017, this is Donald Trump's responsibility. This is Mike Pence's responsibility. This is General Mattis's responsibility. This is Rex Tillerson's responsibility. If, in fact, they are all confirmed. And the question is, by that time, Mark, what can they do? 